Let's go now live, though, for Space News of the Week. We've got Brad Tucker, astrophysicist and cosmologist at ANU. Uh, we're starting off with... We often talk about... Well, I'm a bit more obsessed with it than you, maybe. <laughs> finding aliens out there, intelligent yep. life. But a, a new study is looking into what they could see of us, of yeah. Earth. That's right. You know, as you said, we were talking about a lot. We have a lot of techniques for finding these planets around other stars uh, and measuring, are they habitable? Could they host life? So someone essentially said, well, let's flip the equation. What if an advanced civilization existed and they looked at us? Uh, and namely, this technique is called what we call the transit technique, as you wait for essentially an eclipse, you know, something to go in front of the star. So uh, I just saw a tiny little planet go that, past. That's right. right. And there so you, you right. see kind of the, the wink or the blip. And by seeing that this planet exists, so you kind of see the planet going in front of it, yep. you see the dimming of light, hey, there's a planet there, so we discover it. But then you can use the light from that star as it goes through its planet um, to, to, see measure what it looks like. to measure its atmosphere and its properties, exactly. So we'd look like this beautiful sort of oasis, wouldn't be all that blue? Well, you, be just, if you saw it in any detail, would you go, because you get excited about a bit of ice somewhere. Exactly, right? that's right. You would see the, you would see the water signatures right. uh, and the oxygen signatures in our atmosphere. So you would say, hey, well, that looks like a habitable planet. And in fact, if you had a big telescope, you would actually start to see in modern days uh, a whole bunch of little twinkling from all of our satellites. Right. So you'd actually start to see then, hey, there's an advanced civilization there. And so a calculation has shown that, well, within about, f for, if you looked at the Earth in the past 5,000 years, since kind of there was human civilization to some degree uh, around the world, you know, not maybe satellites, but something, uh, there's about a couple of hundred stars nearby that could have seen it and in enough detail to say, hey, there is potentially a habitable planet that can support life, much like what we do now. They might be on the way to take us over. Um, now, we often talk about getting up into Space 5 rockets, but you can also do a high-altitude balloon. This takes you into the stratosphere. That's right. This makes me nervous. I don't know. But, but I just think <laughs> a rickety little basket and sort of peering over. Th this isn't quite, you know, going in a hot air balloon or, you know, up style where you're attaching balloons to a house. It, 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 the, these are high-pressure balloons. So, you know, we're talking about things that could be stories tall, way above the ground, and that essentially they can attach a, not a large basket, so to speak, but a large capsule underneath. Right. And this is kind of what you're seeing now is that you actually have a giant pressurized environment because at 30 to 40... A lot of people in there. That doesn't look COVID safe. Well, sure. at, at this point, I wouldn't say it's running anytime soon. <laughs> they want to run in 2024. So they're, they're marketing essentially half the, the height to space, but you get to see the curvature. You don't get to experience microgravity, so no floating around for you. Are you is there less gravity? So there, there is less, but probably not dramatically you enough. If you jumped up and down, would you be able to notice the difference? Uh, you're probably able to feel a slightly different, but more so from the height sickness. It's kind of like if you go up to Mount Everest or on right. a tall mountain, you start to experience the difference in terms right. of height and pressure. So like you're not going to be able to suddenly dunk. No, that's right. You're not going to be essentially joining the NBA. But uh -huh. these are the views that you get. You get to see looking down. You get to see the curvature. And if you're stable, you're not blowing around, but you will that, be getting... Why is that so unstable? I mean, that so, so this is from a, a flight actually I took, not myself, but I sent the camera up there. Right. We didn't have the stabilizer on there. But there is wind, so that's going to be half the trick. Yeah. Um, but 125000 instead of 250000 so half the height to space, half the price. Okay. Well, this is a good market opportunity. 